Hi there, welcome to another episode of Get Gardening. Today's episode is going to be really short and simple, but I have some exciting news. I'm so excited to tell you that my dahlia survived the winter, as well as two other plants that I thought were dead, so I'd love to show them to you. My alliums are looking nice, and my lupins just started opening, so I can't wait to show a video of those. But first, I want to show you my dahlias. Okay, so here they are. I kid you not, they were in my basement. All winter long, I thought that they were dead. Lizzie thought that they were dead too, didn't you? I put them outside because I was planning on just throwing them away, but I actually forgot to throw them away. And just yesterday, I was heading to go start planting my tropical garden, and I decided to go throw them away. And lo and behold, I saw shoots coming. Need it to focus. There's some shoots on that one. This one, it's right there. I don't know if it's gonna focus on it, but it's alive too, and I have other ones that are alive. I've already planted a couple of them in the ground. So it just goes to show you that if you're patient enough, your plants that you think are dead might come back. Also, I had a banana tree that I was getting ready to dig up yesterday because I thought it was dead in the ground. I went to dig it up and of course I severed it in half and it was alive. So moral of the story is don't throw away your plants until you're 100% certain that they are dead. So that was just my dose of excitement that I had to share with you guys. If you've been following you know that I love my dahlias and I thought that they were dead. I had them in my tropical garden last year and I loved the way that they worked with the foliage plants around them, added that hint of color and that excitement. Speaking of which, I thought I'd give you a sneak, pre sneak preview of the things that I started planting in my tropical garden. I have this canna lily, this australis one that I purchased and if you can see behind me, I've got a cordial line that I grew last year that I decided to put in front of my hakana kaloa. So I'm busy planting here and trying to figure out where I'm going to put everything. So I hope it's just as beautiful by you as it is over here. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I hope you're able to get out there and get gardening.